Hey everybody, Bayzat here, back again with Risa. Hey everyone. And today we've got a very special gene to tell you about. In fact, it's so special, so rare, that uh, we don't even have the gene. All mm -hmm. we have is a, a fabric swatch here to show you. It is the Tokushima hand-dyed natural Kakashibu salvage. Did I get that right? Mm -hmm. I right. did. Yeah, say that three mm -hmm. times fast. Uh, one of the most rarest fabrics we've ever put in the Naked and Famous Denim line. Mm -hmm. It's in our Made in Japan collection. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you all about the fabric, how it's made, all the details of the MIJ, where you can get a pair, if you're lucky enough to get a pair. And uh, yeah, stick around. We're going to get right into it. Okay, so MIJ11, Tokushima Hand Dye Natural Kakushibu Selvage, mm -hmm. is a 14 ounce, 100% cotton Japanese selvage denim made a very special, made with very special yarns that are dyed with natural Kakushibu dyes. Yes. So Kakushibu is a uh, persimmon dye, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So and it is not just dyed, mm -hmm. it is hand dyed. Mm -hmm. So this is the big distinction because we've done Kakushibu dyed denim before, persimmon dye denim before, mm -hmm. but this is done in the traditional Hank dye method. So you might have seen in the past that we've done some Hank dyed jeans before, and this is where they take like a bundle of cotton, they twist it, they dip, they dip it, or they dunk it into a, a, a like a, you know, vat of indigo, they pull it out, they let it dry, then they repeat this process many and many times. They wring it out, they dip it in. Mm -hmm. It's a really beautiful process to watch, but very rarely do they do this with persimmon dye, kakishibu mm -hmm. dye. And so in this same process, we're having yarns done for this very, very special gene. Mm -hmm. And the big distinction between hank dye with natural indigo and hank dye with kakishibu is that indigo gets its color from oxidization. Mm -hmm. So as uh, you dye with indigo, it kind of starts off bluish yellow, yellowy green, green. yeah. And uh, it turns into more blue over time. But with the Kakashibu, it starts off with a light brown. And then when it's exposed to like UV or sunlight, then it matures and becomes darker and darker. Mm -hmm. So they dip it in the Kakashibu, they pull it out, they let it dry, and they hang it out in the sun. And after it's dried, then they repeat this process over and over again. So mm -hmm. uh, you were telling me earlier, kind of bas basically depending on how much sunlight there is, mm -hmm. right? You want to get into that? Yeah. So in the, during the process of dying, which takes many, many days that like, you know, some days are sunny, other days are not sunny and you can't control that. Right. So depending on like when you dye them, like they, the outcome can really vary. And the, the length that it takes to dye the, the yarns would mm -hmm. also vary. So it is very like, you know, driven by nature, which right. I, I think it's amazing. And it's a very similar process uh, to natural indigo dye, but it, I like that it's slightly different. It's, it's a different like chemistry happening. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And that naturalness kind of feeds into the rest of the gene as well, because mm -hmm. it is very slubby denim, as you can see here. Right. And slub yarns are kind of reminiscent of hand spun yarns. They're mm -hmm. very inconsistent in, in size. And you can see even from far just how slubby this denim is. And then you combine that slub yarn with the low tension weaving mm -hmm. that is done on the Japanese, uh, old Japanese shuttle looms. And it creates this very like loose tension grain. You, if you look on the inside, you can see how irregular the weave pattern is. And so you've got that kind of organic natural grain mm -hmm. tied in with the, you know, organic kind of looking natural spun yarns mm -hmm. with the organic dye, mm -hmm. a lot of organic natural kind of mess going on here. And what I really like about it is that it makes it such that you really can't reproduce this ever. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, with uh, a typical denim, you know, there is a, a method to it that you can constantly reproduce this gene depending on the fabric, of course, mm -hmm. but a lot of it is, you know, we want some consistency here. Here there's zero consistency. Right. And that's really the beauty of this fabric. Right, exactly. And it's very, very rare to get you, your hands on this. Yes. It's, it's, it's a very limited opportunities. And when we were given this opportunity to actually make these mm -hmm. jeans, we were just like, we gotta do it. Yeah. And then even with, with us like really going all in, we could only uh, get our hands on enough fabric to make yeah, 100, 100 and uh, change pairs. pairs. So yeah. uh, because of that, these are only going to be available in jeans form. So super guy, weird guy, easy guy, no denim jacket for this one. Mm -hmm. And who even knows if we'll even get another opportunity to get our hands on this yarn again. You, we buy a lot of fabric mm -hmm. in Japan. We work with all the suppliers here and 
I think we've only ever had this opportunity once. Right. So it doesn't come up very often. Yeah. Hopefully it'll come up again one day. I can't promise it, but it is a very, very rare commodity. Yeah. Let's circle it back to the texture yeah. though, because uh, this is again, 14 ounces, yes. but it is very, very slubby. Very slubby. And I would like to hear All what right. it sounds So like. it's not a full gene. So mm -hmm. I think we're not going to get the full sound of it. But mm. anyways, I think we're still going to get a, uh, so we, we'll get a little taste here. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's very yeah. scratchy. <laughs> you can definitely yeah. tell how scratchy that fabric is. That said, it is rigid, mm -hmm. but it's also quite pliable. Mm -hmm. So it'll mold to your body quite easily. It'll be very, very wearable. And that's probably due in part to the low tension uh, weave of this denim. So yeah. it's going to feel comfortable pretty quickly. Right. Right. Um, now let's get into the details mm -hmm. of the MIJ jeans themselves, because unlike the main line Naked and Famous Made in Canada collection, the MIJ collection has a few kind of extra details that right. uh, that you're not going to find. And we'll start off here simply with the leather patch. Now this is a sheepskin leather patch and it features our Japanese inspired tragic blonde logo. We call it the flower of carnage. It's mm -hmm. kind of like an anime uh, you know, manga reinterpretation of our classic logo here. Right. And uh, just one thing to note that in the earlier product copy, if you saw it on our website earlier, I, I said it was a cordovan patch, show cordovan patch. Uh, this was a, a typo. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, so mm -hmm. just be aware. If you read the product copy early, just know that it is a, uh, a sheepskin leather patch. Yeah, it is a very mm -hmm. beautiful, very beautiful leather yeah, patch. Yeah, it goes yeah. really <laughs> well. The color of the, the rich color mm -hmm. of the leather patch goes really well with the fabric. Yeah. Uh, we've got our custom made. 100% iron buttons. Uh, so you'll find this on the fly and you'll find this also on the waistband. And this isn't just iron capped, it's iron all the way through. So these uh, uh, buttons will oxidize and rust over time. Mm -hmm. So as your jeans fade, your hardware will also fade. Mm -hmm. And we also have copper hardware that will oxidize. So you've mm -hmm. got the copper rivets and we also have hidden back pocket rivets on the inside that you don't see on the outside. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some, some fun details there. Uh, some selvage details include the selvage fly. Right. We've got a peekaboo selvage coin pocket. So it's hidden and visible. Right. So you've got two, right? <laughs> so for, for some people out there, they're like, oh, I prefer hidden, I prefer exposed. Right. Anyways, we've got both on there to make everybody happy. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the union special chain stitch hems that are gonna rope uh, and you know twist the fabric at the bottom quite nicely, mm -hmm. as well as a micro busted out seam. So a very, very small selvage, uh, you know, kind of ID there right. on the end, which is a little bit different from, you know, traditional kind of uh, cuffs, mm -hmm. uh, selvage cuffs. Um, and then there's the raised belt loops. Mm -hmm. So the belt loops are are like, you know, intentionally rolled in so that it it's, it has a ridge. That, yeah. So it kind of like it's a 3D look. And yeah. it, it's great for fading. Yeah, a little but, extra material there to right, fade, right? right so exactly. that's, a, that's a great detail there. And, and as the the rest of the MIJ ser series, this is an unsurprised mm -hmm. fabric. Yes. Uh, tempe treated. Right. So it's been washed and it's been um, uh, hung, hung dried. Yeah. So it, it you don't have to worry about the, you know, big shrinkage of Anson mm -hmm. denim. The shrinkage is almost all taken out by the, the, the tempe process. Yes. But it really has the like plumped up texture. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of, you can definitely tell. Yeah. Right. Um, now, these jeans are going to be available at a few select Naked and Famous Denim retailers worldwide. We've got the link in the description below uh, with the complete retailer availability. That said, each retailer will only get about one, maximum two pairs per size. Mm -hmm. So if you want these, you definitely uh, got to be there at release time. And that's this Friday, March 31st. And uh, so check with your local retailer check to make sure they have the size that you're looking for. And, you know, fingers crossed, you're going to get the one that you want. I hope everybody is able to get the pair that they want. Uh, don't get mad at me. Uh, I know <laughs> I have a feeling they, they will move quickly. So uh, mm -hmm. anyways, well, we did our best to get as much fabric as we could. And if we can get more in the future, we will. It's just it's kind of impossible to know. Right. Right. One last thing to add is that this jeans is so special. We wanted to protect with the extra ah, right. layer. So we uh, we put it in a custom made uh, special like kind uh, cloth of tote bag. Yeah. Bag. yeah. So, so yeah. So it comes with a little extra gift uh, right. for you as well. Um, okay. That said, 
Uh, if you want to learn more about these genes, if there's something we forgot, you can ask us in the comment section below, or you can join us weekly right here on YouTube for our live stream Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and before we go, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like our brand of raw denim related content. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.